What's up, timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer here. I'm gonna be bringing a little game for you guys called The Monster Inside. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be trying out a, f a small little game that's on Steam called The Monster Inside. As you can see here, the title right beside me that way over here. An audio-visual novella by Random Seed Games. So this is a pretty much a... It's more of a... Uh, oh, well, I'll, I'll let you guys see what the game is. It's a free game if you want to download it on Steam. It's, it's there in the free game, so... Without further ado, let's just jump right in. My head pounded. Ear is still ringing slightly with some of the worst nightmare that I'd have in years. Left me feeling like I'd been punched in the jaw, but just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. Alrighty. There was another notice on the door from Mayor Venetti, Venetti's office. Permit out of date. They didn't like me much where and were trying to drown my paperwork. Drown me in paperwork. I'm gonna try to read this better than I'm or I am right now. It was a slow month. Weeks since I'd had any real case to work on. So I passed the time pa pacing the office. Smoking and staring at the mirror in the corner. Safely covered with an old bed sheet. I don't dare look at my own reflection. I'm too afraid of what I might see. Afraid someday I might have to face what I really am. The girl came in so quiet I nearly choked on my cigarette. Girl. Mister, please, you gotta help me, mister. Calm down now, sit and talk slow, yeah? What can I help you with? You ever heard of knocking first? Calm down, sit down, talk slow. Okay. Thanks. It's just no one will listen to me. Just tell me what your what what tell me your tale. I'm listening. She eyed me with just a dash of suspicion as I tossed back the hand full of pills and chased them with a swig of whiskey. I could tell this might take a while. Her name was Lily. She told me she was his mistress. The man all over the newspapers. The infamous bank, Mr. Reg Reginald Farnsworth. Mr. Farnsworth was a drunk, phil philandering bastard, but this girl seemed generally concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. F Farnsworth, Farnsworth's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. Lily. You don't understand. She just couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it's, it was him, and no one believes me. It's, it's gonna be... He's gonna... He's gonna be in trouble. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Case looks pretty simple to me. Let's go with the first one, of course. Lily. Well, Mr. Um... Jack? You can't just call me Jack. Jack? Whoever did this... Whoever did that to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. Of course, the old promise switcheroo. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Farnsworth promised this poor girl. I'm sure Mr. Farnsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Lily, please, the cops, please. The cops won't listen to me and they want to bring, bring him in on charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Honestly, I don't... I doubt they are too much of a hurry. In too much of a hurry. Farnsworth had practically the entire police force in his deep pockets. Probably why they hadn't found him much yet. If they found him and brought him in it would be due to public pressure. Sometimes a mob with pitchfork is more dangerous than one man with money. You've got my curiosity, but what might but you might not like what I find. I can help you. We'll I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry. Don't you worry now. Do we go honest or do we just like reassure her? Hmm. 
Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with with the reassuring, like the the being the honest at least. Lily. Oh, thank you, Mister Jack. Thank you, but please be careful. I don't think this was just any murder of or kidnapper. I think it's I think it's it was a uh, a beast. Dun dun dun! Big reveal. Beast. The word struck me funny, like with when jar you when you jar your elbow on a hard corner okay not a word many use these days except as hu in hus hush whispers and bedtime stories for children oh they were real enough all right they just get better at hiding controlling their in unseemly or un unseemly urges but i hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years back when i still a cop myself Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's definitely an interesting theory. I can help you. Well, we'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. <laughs> Leave the detective work to me. Let's not jump to conclusion here. Let's make sure, like, okay, let's not go crazy here. Lily, I just have a feeling about it. Something tells me you can get to the bottom of it. You're good at this sort of thing. Sure. Can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strong suit. I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. I didn't want her to scare her. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left to keep her doors locked and call me if she saw anything suspicious. I don't know if she was in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. That night, that night, I made my way down to Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed. Next chap. The scene was already picked clean by the cops days ago, but I've got a knack for finding the, the things other overlook. Doom. Okay, cool. A knack, more of a symptom of condition, other less useful symptom I keep I kept in check but for the time being my my keen sense of smell would come in handy it was faint but I could smell it before I even approached the police line the scent was less of a thing and more of an emotion this is very interesting I have to say seduction a strangely familiar smell ah uh, yes I expected the scent for, of trans trepidation or maybe even an outright fear but mr farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of his, of the pleasure when she when she left the world this world all right brought new meaning to a crime of passion ooh pushing the thought from my mind it was time to get down to business investigate the scene what have we got Muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick out any, anything from the prints the cop left behind in, in their haste. But cops don't wear a $2,000 pair of carquinos. Okay. It looked like Mr. Farnsworth were there, was there that night and walked away on his own two feet. Investigate the scene. We got claw marks here. A burn mark on, on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my finger along it along its length and felt a chill down my spine this wasn't just any burn mark this was the mark of an ancient magic it's doubtful the cop would have picked up on it could Lily have been right something unnatural was at play here but I was no stranger to this I was no stranger to the strange after looking around for a while longer I realized the park had given up all it was hiding from me so I, I trunk, I strut, I, I, so I tread, strut, why do I have problems with this word right now? So I strutted back to my apartment and my head hit the pillow like it's, like it owed me money. Next chapter. The next morning, I was, I was reeling for another bout of ghoulish nightmares, but I tried to hide my discomfort when I saw Lily was already sitting outside my office. She waited wordlessly as I unlocked the door and re 
and ripped down another notice from the mayor's office. I mentioned for I motioned for her to step inside, seemingly afraid of what I might say. She finally worked up the courage to ask. So, what did you find? Well, I've got some good news. Fairworth might still be alive. Not sure about Beast, but something unnatural was at play. Might be right to worry about monsters. Find a spell, Mark. Found a spell. Uh, so, what can we choose here? Well, uh, well, I've got some good news, Mr. Farnsworth. Let, let's re start by reassuring her, at least. I probably shouldn't gi have given her false hope like that, but she seemed like she needed something to hold onto right then. She didn't need to know about the marks on the tree. Lily. Lily. How did you know that? Where is, is he? Found his footprint. Seems like it, he got out safely. There were signs that he was in, and slipped away. My tone was indifferent towards her as I turned and grabbed a bottle from my desk drawer. A dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow my meds. Typical, like, fucking private eye story. Like, I just keep drinking and taking pills and not caring about other people's feelings. Lily, but you don't know where they where he went? Do you think the news this morning is related? What news what news is that? Haven't you heard? Nope, rough night followed by a rough morning. They found a police chief's wife dead down by the docks. They said it happened last night. Let me guess. Chief Amato is missing too? My faith might <clears throat> my face might have betrayed a hint of satisfaction as she confirmed my suspicions, but it faded quickly. Amato was a shit cop and a shit, a shit sheriff, a chief. He was half the reason I left the force, but now his wife was dead and I had more questions than I did the day before. Damn it! More work! The gears in my head started to spin, which wasn't helped by the splitting pain in my temple. I told Lily I needed time to work, and she left slightly dejected, wanted more answers than I could provide. The night after the cop had cleared out the docks, I would, I would slip down and see what I could uncover concerning Mrs. Amato's untimely demise. Next chapter. The cold air smelled strong of salt and oil, and... And, could it be? The smell again, like someone had bottled pure arousal and used it as perfumed. It hit me like a long forgotten memory, but the sens sensual fume soon gave way to a rush of adrenaline. <laughs> Sorry about that. I knew exactly what the scent reminded me of, and it scared me more than not knowing. I looked down at my hands, shaking the nightmares, the headaches. No, I was better now. Reformed. I had to focus, not jumping to conclusion. Follow the evidence. Investigate the scene. Red Phoenix cigarettes. Some shitty brand I smoke every day. Same shitty brand I smoke every day. Everyone's got their vice. Investigate the scene fuck is there they're just there the smell pieces of purple fabric torn caught by this in the splinter of a board okay the police report didn't say anything about mrs. Amato wearing purple it was certainly of a quality that you wouldn't expect down here don't see too many high society types around flaunting royal purple threads I pulled out my own pack of reds and it lit up I could already feel another headache coming on but looking out over the waves seemed to help forget me forget. The cold helped me push down the uncomfortable thoughts that had been bubbling to the top of my brain. Next chapter. I honestly don't remember the walk back to the office. Apparently, I spent the night in my easy chair, the air from the docks lingered on my clothes. It was still dark out. No, I checked the clock. How long had I been out? Had I already slept through the entire the next day? A newspaper was sitting under the door and I stood up to fetch it, and I nearly fell over. A wave of nausea hit me like a ton of bricks. I steadied myself and regained my composure before I even picked up the paper. I could already read the headlines. 
Breaking, mayor missing, wife found dead, of course. Two cases is a coincidence, three is a pattern. The cops would come asking questions soon. They knew I had a history of antagonizing all the victims. I stumbled to my desk and slammed back three days worth of in inhibitor, inhibitor pills. I couldn't take any chances. I had to investigate the scene to be sure. I threw my jacket. I threw on my jacket and went to the door. Lily caught me off guard on the other side. God damn it, Lily. Lily. Jack. Where are you off to? I've been trying to reach you all day. I'm sorry, Lee, but I don't have time to talk right. I have to go. I just, I've just been busy. I'm off to Mr. Violet's crime scene. Okay, but we need to talk when you get back. Stay safe. She gave me a soft kiss on the cheek so I ru I, and I, as I rushed off. Part of me wanted to stay and tell her I, it would be okay, but it would be a lie. Next chapter. The alley was located behind the high-rise apartment where Mayor Venetti and his wife lived. I could tell the police were spooked now. The crime scene was even sloppier than the last. They hadn't even bothered sim to submit the trash into evidence. Investigate the scene. Let's go with the trash. Why wouldn't they at least look through the dumpster? It seems untouched. No one wants to do the dirty work. But I know to find the good stuff. I already do. It really doesn't take long if you know what to look for. Lightweight bags usually mean someone was dumping documents. If you were lucky, they didn't bother to shred them. Jackpot. Shell company. Sh shady stock trades. Bribes. I knew Mayor Vanetti was crooked, but this was unbelievable. And there was more. Letters between Mayor Vanetti and Chief Amato talking about me. How did they were trying to get me shut down? They didn't like me snooping around crime scenes all the time. Well, they weren't here to stop me snooping around this one. Investigate the crime scene. Vanetti's car. If he's if he's still alive, he wouldn't. Why wouldn't he let have left in his car? It didn't make any sense. I honestly wasn't too motivated to find him, but the stakes were too high, and my bet was edging towards the uh, the unthinkable. As I searched around for any for anything that might assure my fear, I caught the scent again. It, ov it overwhelmed my other senses with undul undulating pleasure, and it was intoxicating. A weapon used on the weak-willed. A weapon I knew all too well. Thought it had been many years since I, ha I, had, to I had used it. Was there another like me? Was I being framed? It wasn't possible, was it? I was taking my hi inhibitors. I was reformed. But the nightmare, the headache, the memory lapses. I couldn't even trust myself. I started walking back out the alley when someone shiny, something shiny caught my eye. A watch. Not just any watch, though. My watch. How long had my wrist been bare? Surely I just dropped it when I first came down the alley. I checked the time just before I left the office, hadn't it? Hadn't I? Or had I used the wall clock? I couldn't be sure. I couldn't be sure of anything. So I ran. Next chapter. I don't know why I ran back to the office. The cop wouldn't probably show up any the cops would probably show up any minute to knock the door down and cart me away. They would put it together before long. Maybe it would be the best for everyone if I simply faced my own reflection. But Lily was still there waiting for me. Lily. Jack, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. My own ghost come back to haunt me from the past. You're not making any sense, Jack. Come sit down. You don't understand. You're not safe around me. I took a good last look at her as I prepared to shove her out the door. I noticed she was wearing the same thing she had when she first came to my office three days ago. A beautiful purple dress. God damn it. Odd that I hadn't really noticed before, but it made her seem out of place, out of time. And it was frayed around the edges, torn in places. My chair cut my fall as my knee fa failed me. That was you. You're the monster. Succubus. Oh, Jack. We are one and the same, you and I. 
War about monsters, I'm simply more honest with myself. There is no such thing as reformation. Those pills that you take only make you dull. Lily, beasts like us should never suppress our true nature as you have in Cubis. Those men were probably dead to, to now, I figured. She probably took them to her lair and harvested their seed. Eh, so you've done all of this just to wake me up? You could say that. So it seems enough just to have you doubt yourself. You believe you were still capable of such horrors, which means deep down you probably are. Ooh, this took a fucking turn and a half. You can't escape it. Now I need you to complete the deed. You took my watch, messed with my head. Oh, don't act like I didn't. I didn't do you a favor. Those men hated you and wanted you gone. No, they are gone. I mustered the strength to stand again, moving casually to the window by the corner. She was right about one thing. I was dull. Weak compared to her. If I refused... If I refused her she and she attacked me, I was a dead man, and I had to keep her talking. I've never met a succubus who seduces and kills women. Lily, oh please, such a 14th century stereotype. I don't discriminate when it comes to pleasure of the flesh. But I don't still need an I do still need an incubus like yourself to take the tainted seed and have I've harvested from those awful men and planted among the fertile masses of for me. Okay. This we're getting to some freaky deaky shit. I'm tired of draining my lovers just to survive. I'm ready to settle down and start a family. Ha 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 ha. The man that maniacal laughter. I p positioned myself carefully, making sure she wasn't looking my direction. Sorry, but I'm not your guy. With a quick flick of my wrist, I, I whipped the old bedsheet off in the corner mirror. Lily, <clears throat> Lily was blinded by her own reflection and sucked into the mirror with a painful monstrous scream, trapped. Shielding my own eyes, I pulled a revolver from the desk side drawer, aimed it at the mirror, and fired. Alright guys, that was the monster inside. Hopefully you guys enjoyed That's a fun little story. A vi uh, very the, had very nice music to go with the story. Uh, sorry for my little my uh, my bad uh, talking at the same time, but it was still fun. You, you guys still and hopefully enjoyed the story. I enjoyed it. it was a really fun story. Uh, simple story it was, but still fun. It took about thirty minutes to to go down. So of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere: Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. And of course, right here on youtube.com forward slash me tag gamer, where I post a new video every day week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, I try. Lately, I've been missing a couple days at a time there, but we'll try to get back on track real soon. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.